Hello, this is Alan McDonald. The six videos in my Geometric Algebra playlist give an introduction to geometric algebra. Geometric algebra is a vast subject, so I can cover only a small fraction of it. But I hope that the videos will give you a sense of the enormous power of the subject and inspire you to explore it further. The videos are based on my textbook, Linear and Geometric Algebra. Click on the link to visit the book's web page. Some knowledge of linear algebra is presumed for the videos, but not the book. I have written a sequel, Vector and Geometric Calculus. A second playlist will be devoted to it. Before starting the mathematics of geometric algebra, let me read through an introduction. Vector algebra. Vector algebra and vector calculus are part of the standard undergraduate mathematics curriculum because they are of central importance in pure and applied mathematics. It was not always so. Vector methods were pioneered by two physicists, the American Hosea Willard Gibbs and the Englishman Oliver Heaviside beginning in the late 1870s. The wide acceptance of these methods did not occur until well into the 20th century. Vector algebra enables algebraic manipulation of vectors, but it is not the latest mathematical technology for algebraically manipulating geometric objects. Geometric algebra Geometric algebra was pioneered by the American physicist David Hestinus beginning in the 1960s. Geometric algebra and its extension to geometric calculus unify, simplify, and generalize vast areas of mathematics involving geometric ideas, including vector algebra, vector calculus, exterior, Grassmann algebra and calculus, tensor algebra and calculus, Quaternions, real analysis, complex analysis, and Euclidean, non-Euclidean, and projective geometries. Geometric algebra provides a common language for many areas of physics. For example, classical and quantum mechanics, electrodynamics, and relativity. Computer science, for example, graphics, robotics, and computer vision. Engineering and other fields. The principal argument for the adoption of geometric algebra is that it provides a single, simple mathematical framework which eliminates the plethora of diverse mathematical descriptions and techniques it would otherwise be necessary to learn. Here's the basic idea. We'll start with Rn, the vector space for n-dimensional space. Rn has certain elements, certain members. They're called vectors. And there are two operations on Rn. Scalar multiplication, where the product of a scalar with a vector produces a vector. And the inner, or dot product, where the inner product of two vectors produces a real number, a scalar. We're going to extend Rn to Gn. Gn will have more elements than does Rn, and it will have more operations than does Rn. Here is a short description of the remaining videos in this playlist, the sections of the playlist. First, G3, the geometric algebra of three-dimensional space, the most important case. Next, complex numbers. Complex numbers are part of G3, and they have a richer structure than do the usual complex numbers. Next, Gn, the general geometric algebra of n-dimensional space. And then I'll show how linear algebra is enriched by the adoption of geometric algebra. Notice the slide numbers at the lower right of the screen in case you need to reference them. 
My narration is going to move right along. Don't forget that you can pause the video to think a bit before proceeding. Notice that the outline that I've just given also appears at the top of the screen. Also notice when I move into section 1, G3 elements, the subsections of that section will also appear at the top of the screen.